and internet marketing consultant Ayola Benson with us. Thank you for joining us. Uh, thank you, Emmanuel, and uh, thank you, viewers at home. Um, okay. What is internet marketing? Um, I, I think I would describe internet mm -hmm. um, as a vehicle for businesses uh, to grow. Um, internet marketing is using uh, the technology uh, to increase, to improve, to communicate uh, with your audience, with your customers. Uh, there are many attributes of internet. I think the most important attribute is its reach. The reach of internet is global. Uh, it is the internet that has made it possible uh, for me to be trading in UK and then my customers are in Nigeria. Um, I'm going to use the example of uh, Manastores.com. Uh, that is my company, it's a procurement and logistic company. Um, I have my office in UK. I also have an office here. Uh, the most important factor to look at is communication. Can you communicate with your customers? I, I think big businesses have actually latched on to internet. And you find out that small businesses uh, can also grow rapidly uh, if they embrace uh, the internet. Uh, there are so many ways you can do that, yeah, we'll which I will yes, uh, we'll elaborate to on uh, okay, later. Maybe I should just allow you to go on that road. How do you grow your business through internet marketing? Okay. Uh, number one, most people think you need to have a website to actually be on the internet. Uh, that's not completely true. Uh, there are so many ways you can exploit uh, internet to grow your business. Um, I'll give you a day-to-day -day example which people can relate to. One young girl uh, came into our office. Uh, she's been a graduate for three years and uh, she's been looking for a job and she couldn't get a job, uh, basically. So she approached my business development manager and said, um, I've got 100,000 Naira. What can I do? You know, I'm tired of looking for a job. Uh, I think she saw some of our adverts where we say, we have database of UK wholesalers and retailers where you can get original products at very competitive prices. So that when you sell original products to your customers, uh, you can then mark up relatively and make more money and turn over your business over a period. This lady invested 100,000. I'll actually tell you specifically what she did. She bought bags, you know, all these bags. I think the minimum you can buy there was 80 pounds. So she bought the bags and she started, you know, turning over that money. I think her last order was 3,500 pounds from uh, 100,000 small investments. Where did she, she have her customers? She says to her friends, to her in, in churches. That's why I say to people, don't sit down at home looking for employment. Be creative, uh, be dynamic, you know, talk to people. There are so many people that are ready to buy if you have what they need. So you can just have um, some capital. Mm -hmm. You are not the manufacturer of the product. Mm -hmm. you, s you act as some form of a middleman. Mm -hmm. In this instance? Yeah, yeah. I, I will explain to you what we do. Uh, we're a procurement logistic company. We're based in UK, so we have partnership with most retailers in UK, and we also have database of wholesalers that people don't know about. You know, if you just you know type on the internet wholesaler blah blah blah, you can't get those people because some of them are not actually as popular as you would think. But they make good products. You know, some of them have been set up 200 years ago. Um, they make very solid progress. I, I'll give you another example. They call them, um, you know, if people are listening at home, go search L and R. Uh, they sell shoes. You see, uh, the trainers we buy for 80 pounds, 90 pounds, uh, all those Adidas, you know, Nike, these are not branded, but they are as good. And that's what we need in Nigeria. We shouldn't be worrying about brands. They okay, are as good. And essentially, you can act as a middle person. Yeah. Yeah. And, and those shoes we buy for 80, 90 pounds, you can get it for 5 pounds, 6 pounds. And the only snag is you can't just go there and buy one. So you have to buy a minimum because they are wholesalers. They won't sell to individuals. 
Okay, so those are some of the advantages. We have loads of them. We have for jewelry, mm -hmm. we have for shoes, we have for bags, we have for clothes. So, in other words, when you have this kind of capital and you get involved in this online marketing, mm -hmm. you can develop your own. Um, your own uh, business your own business uh, and the, the business of the manufacturer so it's a win-win situation it, it is a win-win situation and i also tell you something uh you don't also need a shop <laughs> um when i created uh, manastores.com i thought of young people that would want to start trade with small capital then i created another platform called manamat.com uh, that one is a classified website where you can go there if you want to sell your car you can go there free of charge you register you put your car on there so people that are looking for cars will go there see your car give you a call directly we have nothing to do with it we provided the platform it's like we created a market a marketplace where people can trade where people can upload their products so young people who bought from us they can actually go onto manamat and even people that haven't bought from us you know, loads of people come there, thousands daily, uh, to upload their products. And people looking for things, they go there to buy. So the the additional advantage we offer is, if you buy from us, we give you what we call featured ads. Featured ads means if I'm looking for bags, type bags, your bag will come up first. Okay. Yeah. L so let me let me ask you this. Um, you've spoken well about uh, some of the advantages there what you can do mm -hmm. that story mm -hmm. of the young graduate with a mm -hmm. hundred thousand uh, it's a good example yeah. to sell yeah. but why do businesses still fail some businesses mm -hmm. that want to employ this kind of technology and mm -hmm. strategy mm -hmm. a number of them still fail uh, why the first is lack of skills uh, and the good thing is skills can be learned um, there are so many ways. If you have your website and you put it aside and nobody knows about it, that's going to fail, obviously, uh, because we have billions of websites and we have hundreds of thousands coming up daily. It's the way you market your website. And there are so many tools. But, do you, you, but you just said that you don't have to have a website to... Yeah, you say why... why, why uh, why do businesses why people trying to use internet fail, fail. Okay. yeah I, I, i'm talking about people who build website and hope to use it mm. um i want to give them a touch of why it fails is one lack of publicity um there are so many cheap affordable ways to publicize what your website and you don't have to have a website you can have a blog which is free Google can provide you with a blog. For, for instance, our company, we have blog where we provide information to customers. We also give them news, entertainment news, manamat, blogspot.com. So we have three platforms at a go. So, so it is easy. You can go on Facebook. We, we made an advert on Facebook. I think it's been running for six months now. Uh, we say, seduce with a perfume. Because when you buy from us, we give you a free perfume. Um, you know, some of my customers have raised eyebrow about that. Isn't that too much? Mm. So, so you, you, you can't give too much you, to your customers. You, you, you were talking about the different, uh, you've talked about lack of publicity. Yeah. In the second one. Yeah. L lack of publicity. There are so many cheaper ways you can, you know, access uh, the customers. Then secondly, security. Mm. Uh, the security of your website, especially if you sell through your website. Or uh, security in the sense that uh, some people, they just sit down and try to, get into other people's websites for malicious reasons so if you're building a website and you want to sell through it if you don't want to sell through it there's no problem about security but then you still need to protect your information how do you uh, uh, how do you protect your website i think it starts from one how you built your website then secondly there is what we call security certificates if you if you have a website now right and you have no security certificates uh, hackers could come into there and steal your information. It, it's not money, but information could be very, very important to you and to your customers. So, if you if you go on internet, if you type www, there's something that comes up HTTP. If you've noticed that, if if it has no S added to it, that means not secure. So people should watch out for that. Oh, HTTPS. Yeah, if it's HTTPS, that means it's secured. Security.
We apologize for that. Uh, welcome back. Um, we're talking um, about the um, advantages of using internet marketing to grow um, your business and um, Ayola Benson, an internet uh, marketing consultant, is with us. Now, before that, yeah. we had um, talked about or we were talking about what you can do to ensure that your business doesn't fail if mm -hmm. you attempt to use internet marketing. Yeah, I you talked about security. Yeah. yeah, I was talking about security. I'm trying to enlighten them at home as to what do you look out for. Um, especially if you're using your card. Uh, most businesses, they just build a platform and then they leave it there. You can't stop there. You need to buy a security certificate and they're not very expensive. What that does is when you send messages through your website to me, uh, that message will be encrypted. Um, that means to be scrambled such that uh, somebody looking from outside cannot understand it. So when it gets to you, then it's unscrambled. Um, all this is done through technology. So you need to be sure that it is uh, secured. Now, so you platform. talked about publicity, mm -hmm. which is very important. Yeah. Now, before we move on to maybe a third, mm -hmm. you said there were cheap ways you can publicize your website. Yeah. Um, we have so many. I mentioned a, a classified website the other time, uh, manamad.com. Uh, there are so many other uh, classified websites. If you have a product, you can, you know, put, that, put all of them on those classified websites. Or if you have an uh, internet business, you can put it as a publicity. Uh, there is what we call SEO, or Search Engine Optimization. Uh, that will help businesses uh, to be on top of Google. When people are looking for things, they go to Google, they search. Uh, if your business is not on the first page, maybe second page you are likely you're, to be you're lost <laughs> you, you're lost uh, because people can't find you um so there, there is more technicalities to uh, getting your business to the top of google but you know it's part of the process you have to be seen uh for people to be able to patronize you. just before we go lastly before we go um what uh, would you say to businesses or business owners now in terms of taking advantage of uh, internet marketing as a last take? Um, I think big businesses are slow to respond. So entrepreneurs and small businesses can take advantage of internet and take businesses away from the big players. Um, and like I said earlier, it is not expensive to do so. If you go on Facebook, there are like 4 million Nigerians on Facebook now. We have like 44 million Nigerians uh, that have access to internet now. Uh, that's a big market. Uh, if you're running any business, if you can reach 0.00% uh, .00 of those people, um, you know, at least your business will thrive. Um, in, in our business, for example, uh, people think, oh, if you buy things from UK, it's really, really very expensive because of the exchange rate. That is not true. That's rubbish. Um, you, there are places if you know where to go, and that's why I said earlier, we have database of those places where you could go and get uh, competitive okay. prices and you get original products as well. There, okay. there is a, a statistic that 60 to 70 percent of goods coming to Nigeria from Asia are fake. Um, even though they carry all the necessary mm. packaging and all of that. So in, in rounding up, um, I, I think uh, time is not enough. Um, we, we need more time we'll do, to we'll actually do, yes. we'll yeah, talk about we'll probably uh, do it again and yes, you know we expand uh, mm. on, on what we've uh, talked about today uh, uh, so that people you. can have benefits mm. of using the internet for their business. Thank you very much for coming on the Thank program. Thank you, Imana. Uh, that's how much we can take with uh, Mr. Ayola Benson, a chartered accountant and internet marketing consultant on how you can take advantage of internet marketing to grow your business and um, grow your sales. We'll be right back. <laughs>